Okay, so this is the uh, Aquamedic 1000 after I've uh, changed it slightly. So as you can see, I pulled out the bio balls to increase the flow. Uh, the other thing I did too was I cut down the barbs. Uh, it looked like there was a double barb, so there was a half inch barb and then there was also a 5 eighths inch barb. So I cut the half inch off, drilled out the top with a 3 8 inch drill bit to really open that thing up and uh, I found that a 5 8 inch hose will fit straight over there snugly which is great. Um, this is a 5 8 inch to half inch reducer and you can see that comes right out of the top of my canister filter. I've really you know taken a lot of tubing off the bend um, just enough so that it's not getting pinched and it's not too hard of a, a U-bend, so that's working really well. Uh, I did the same thing at the bottom, cut the half inch bar about off, uh, drilled it out, and uh, that's going straight into a 5 8 inch hose with a, uh, a nice bend there. I managed to take off at least 4 inches, 5 inches. Um, you know, from going from a half inch tube to a 5 eighths inch tube. It's just wider and doesn't kink as much, so I can make a bit of a, a tighter bend that's not restrictive. And uh, besides, that 5 eighths inch hose goes straight into my Hydor 300 heater, inline heater. Um, if you look here, again, I've gone 5 eighths uh, up to half inch with a reducer I made. And it's uh, overall it's working really really well. I'm getting a significantly higher flow rate through the entire system now than uh, initially when I just had the reactor stock in there. So I'm very pleased with um, you know the 15 minutes I spent doing this extra stuff. Um, if you look at the actual diffusion itself, you'll notice that the majority of the bubbles stay within the top half to two thirds of uh, the reactor and they're getting a hundred percent dissolved. I mean you look at the bottom here and I'm not seeing any bubbles get pushed down there. I've even kept the uh, the black tube at the bottom. Uh, I know some people will cut it halfway up but I'm really not pushing enough flow f through it to be a problem so you know in my current setup it's it's beneficial to have the tube at the bottom. Um, what you'll notice is um, as the bubbles sort of collect at the top they will all get pushed out in a big bubble float back up and the same thing happens over and over again and they're getting 100% dissolved so I mean you look up here at my spray bar I mean that's just particulate that's getting blasted around not so much bubbles which is fantastic. So with the bubble with the bio balls in the diffuser, I was getting small bubbles uh, blasting around the uh, the tank. Uh, some people say that you know it's it's a good thing to mist the plants with bubbles, but I prefer a clear tank to um, you know bubbles getting misted all over the place. So I'm happy. I'm quite happy. So uh, what else? Well, there's the pH controller controlling everything. So I've got it set for a pH of 7. That generally turns my um, CO2 indicator green. Um, and it's working for me. So here's the, the regulator. And the bubble counter bubbling away. So, so there it is. And I'm quite happy. So good stuff. All right.